This video is part of a series looking at extended response questions for the required practical activities for AQA A-level chemistry. In this video, we're going to look at the electrochemical cell, which is required practical activity eight. Before we go any further, pause the video and have a go at drawing the setup for an electrochemical cell yourself. So in this question, we're drawing two half cells that are connected together to make one electrochemical cell. One of these half cells is a redox cell and the other one is the standard hydrogen electrode. So they're both slightly more complicated than, say, if we were just drawing a Danielle cell. So to start with, I need two beakers to be my two half cells. So I'm going to draw those in there. And one of these beakers for the standard hydrogen electrode is going to contain one molar hydrochloric acid. And the other beaker is going to contain a mixture of compounds containing the SN2 plus and the SN4 plus ions. Just be a little bit careful here. If you have, um, you could pick a different compound. You know, I've just picked chlorides because chlorides generally are a good option for things that you are expecting to be soluble. So if you don't know the name of a compound, it's a good one to go for. But if you have gone for something that um, doesn't have a valency of one, just make sure that the ion that you're interested in has a concentration of one mole per decimeter cubed. So say if I'd gone for um, tin sulfate instead of um, tin chloride, I would need to make sure that it's the concentration of the tin ions that is one molar, not the whole compound. So I've got my two beakers full of liquid and I'm going to need a salt bridge to connect those. So there's my salt bridge. And the easiest way to do this is to just take a piece of filter paper and saturate it with something like potassium nitrate. So potassium nitrate is good because it's basically pretty inert. It's not going to react with either of the compounds in either of these. Um, an alternative, rather than using a piece of filter paper, is you might have had a glass piece of equipment called a U-tube um, and you might have used that to make your salt bridge instead. But filter paper works just fine. So why complicate things? Um, so then I'm going to need um, to supply some hydrogen gas. So you can see the bubbles that are coming off there. So the hydrogen gas needs to be supplied at a pressure of 100 kilopascals. And I'm going to need actual electrodes to make contact. So this is my little electrode here made of platinum black, or you could just say platinum. And I'm going to use the same over on my um, hydrogen side. Um, and then I've just uh, filled in the liquid so you can actually see that my beakers are full of liquid. They're not just empty. And then we're going to add some wires with a voltmeter that connects them. And that is my full setup for this electrochemical cell. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope that you are finding these videos useful in your revision of the AQA A-Level required practicals. If you are, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more A-Level chemistry content coming soon.